What's up guys, welcome to Horsepower and Pizza. My name is Bailey. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm outside filming today. There's a little bit of traffic going by. It's beautiful outside, so I figured I would take advantage of the weather, as are the neighbor's kids. So I can hear the kids running around screaming, but it's beautiful outside. I'd rather have the kids outside being kids than inside playing Xbox. Today is a little bit different video. I am going to be showing how to mix 50-50 BMW coolant with distilled water to get your engine coolant and antifreeze. This is what I run in my Subaru. I like to run all OEM fluids, so oils, um, brake fluids, whatever the factory recommends. So this is actually BMW brand, as you can see, antifreeze coolant concentrate. This is Subaru Super Coolant. It is 50-50 pre-diluted antifreeze, so it says do not add water. This stuff pick up I think this was like 17 or $20 at the dealership you pick it up you pour it straight into the car the reservoir the radiator wherever and you're good to go BMW sells it by concentrate 50% this 50% distilled water I bought one of these at Target for like two dollars and fifty cents it is a rubber made mixer mate I think it's the easiest way it has a lid that screws on tight and has a little pour spout so it's you can mix and pour straight from this. I have it labeled BMW coolant and it will go with the rest of my fluid so it won't get mixed up with food or anything else like that. I'm wearing gloves because this stuff can be nasty if you get it on your hands. I mean, it's just safer to handle chemicals with gloves in my opinion and the opinion of a lot of safety experts, which I am not. I'm gonna mix 1.2 liters of this so I can fill the coolant to 600 milliliters and then I will fill it with water to 1200 milliliters. This is approximate. You can check your concentration of coolant with, I believe the proper tool is called a refractometer. You might want to Google that. I know that's what we use to check um, concentration of coolants and things like that at work. I'm not sure if it's the same scale or if you would need a different one to check automotive coolants, but that's something you could possibly check into. So I'm going to start with coolant. And be careful pouring this. Like I said, I'm going to pour 600 milliliters of the coolant concentrate. That looks pretty good there. I didn't even spill it. That's a surprise. Actually pretty clumsy. One and off camera. And then same as this, um, even though I don't intend on mixing these up, I will label this one and put it with the rest of my fluid. And then going to pour water. Yes, hello little bird, I hear you. Right up to 1200. Screw the lid on. Give it a little bit of a shake, I guess. That's how you mix it. We're gonna actually go over to the car and I'm going to add a little bit. So on the N55 engine, your coolant reservoir is on the passenger side of the car, the left side if you're looking at the engine bay this way. Never do this when the car is hot. I know there's been a few videos I've watched that have said wait three hours. I haven't driven the car in two or three days. The engine is cold. You can open that without it boiling out and burning you. That's very dangerous. I do not recommend trying it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see here. I'm a little bit low, so I'm actually just gonna start pouring. Oh, I spilled a little bit. Try not to spill this because it's probably not that good for the environment. And yeah, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see. I'll pull the camera off the tripod. There's two arrows down here. One of them is your low and one of them is your high. And then when you put the cap back on, there's these two arrows. There's one here and one here. Again, it's a yellow arrow on a white plastic thing. With sunlight, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it. Just screw this on. And it clicks, the arrows line up, you're good to go. If you look down here, you can just barely see it. There's an arrow here pointing to the lower edge of this seam. And over here, it's a little bit dark. There's an arrow and a line right here showing the low. 
I was at about the low. I'm right in between right now. I'm actually going to take the cap off and add a little bit more. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm sure most of the newer BMW engines are the same. 50-50 coolant mixture, it's pretty hard to mess up. As long as you know whether or not it's concentrate and it needs mixed, and you find a container similar to the one I have to mix it with, it's pretty hard to mess up. And that's coming from somebody who does nothing but mess up on video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Social media, website, everything else is linked down below. If you're not already following us on Instagram, please head over and do that at Horsepower Pizza. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, keep your head down, keep your mouth shut, and build it for you. Peace out, guys.